Hello everyone, I'm Wyatt and welcome to our FRC Java tutorial series. Today we'll be starting off with the very basics of Java and I'll be giving you a crash course on classes and methods, the foundation of Java programming. Java is an object-oriented programming language, so that means that every bit of code we will write will be based on this concept of an object. A class is what we call a template for creating an object. Each class contains methods, which are something an object can do. Each class can also contain instance variables, which describe something about each specific object. It can be difficult to understand, so let me start you off with an example. We might make a class to represent a dog. This dog class might have methods to bark, sit, and eat, and some instance variables that this class would have to describe the dog might be its breed and color. When we create this dog class, we don't create it with a specific dog in mind. Rather, the dog class is meant to represent all of the methods and instance variables that all dogs have in common. That way, we can use this dog class to create several different dog objects, like a husky named Buster or a border collie named Kevin. So let's get into writing some code. For our first couple projects, I'll be using Replit so that you guys can follow along at home without having to install any new software. So to get started, I'll just click New REPL, we'll choose Java, and we are going to be making a dog. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new file and call it dog.java. So now we will create the dog class. To start, we will write public class dog, followed by a pair of curly brackets. All of our instance variables and methods must go in between these curly braces. Also note that dog is capitalized. It's good code practice to keep your class names capitalized. Next, if we wanted to create a method to make the dog bark, we'd first write public void bark, followed by a pair of curly brackets. I'll go more in depth into each of the pieces of this method declaration in a later video. But for now, just take note that unlike the class name, the, we keep our method names lowercase. Next, if we wanted to print something to the system output, we would write system.out.println woof, followed by a semicolon. PrintLN is a method that is commonly used in Java coding to print something to the terminal. If you have previous programming experience, you will recognize the quotes around woof to indicate that it is a string. Lastly, note the semicolon. All statements in Java are followed by a semicolon. If we were to run the code now, however, we would never call our method. So first, we have to go into this main method and call the bark method. If we were to say dog.bark, the code wouldn't know what to do because it doesn't know what dog to tell to bark. So first we have to create a dog. So let's say we wanted to make Buster the Husky. We would say dog Buster is a new dog. Now we can tell Buster to bark. And if we run that code, you'll see that it outputs woof, prints that to the terminal just like we told it to do in this method. And that's all for our first video. This was just a very brief introduction into the very fundamentals of Java, so if you're still confused, don't worry. We'll go more in depth into these concepts and syntax in later tutorials. Have a great day.